What is up, what is up, what is up, FS Club Thursday, guys? Less than a week till Christmas. We got new mods in, guys, again. Really good mods, so let's check these out. Okay, first one we have, this is Garage. 11 slots, $15,000. Uh, let's open these up real quick. Okay, they go open. Okay, they do take a minute to open. Let's see, a whole bunch of storage in here, no lights. Uh, does this back door open? I think it does, maybe. Okay, yeah, it just takes a minute to open, and you can't really get through there. Let's see, not even crouching down, you can't really get through there, so that kind of sucks. Okay, let's close that up. Okay, so where you can find this? Let's go over here, let's go over to Sheds, and there it is right there, $15,000, $15 a day. Okay, so that is the first mod. Second mod, this is Grain Storage, 24 slots, $30,000. Uh, Pretty nice. I like the little decorations over here. We got a little bit mo pad over here. Uh, some other stuff. Can you pick this stuff up? Let's see. Yes, you can pick this stuff up. Pick that thing up. Yep, you can pick it up. Okay, so let's go inside real quick. Come on, open up. Does this open up? Hopefully it does. There it goes. And here is the storage inside. It does look like it has lights, but I don't see a, a light switch. Maybe this right here. Yes, there's the light switch. Uh, really nice. Like how you can actually see outside on that. I uh, got a little trash right there. Okay, where you can find this one? Go over to, of course, your placeables, sheds, then right there, thirty thousand dollars. It is seventy-five dollars a day. A twelve by twenty-five warehouse. Okay, the next one are these three beautiful things right here, and these are small shelters. Uh, these range from two to three slots, uh, 5,600 to 7,200. Uh, so we got a little shed right here. Got another one right here. And then got the other one right here. That one definitely looks different than that one. A more of a lighter color. Okay, so where you can find these? Let's go over here. Let's go to sheds. And they're at the very end right here. We have small shelter 8M eight, eight by 15. Uh, without the base, 8M by 15 and then small shelter 7 in by 15 so there is those right there pretty nice pretty nice little things okay next one is a pretty big one look how big that thing is <laughs> this is dairy barn 15 slots three hundred and fifty thousand dollars can hold 500 cows this is like a business right here go in here let's see does all these doors open nope that doesn't open that doesn't open. Got little pictures on the wall. Uh, looks like probably a light switch. Yep, light switch. Can you go upstairs? Yes, you can go upstairs. Got like a little office over here. Some cows. Oops, come on, let's open up the door. There we go. Open up the door. Uh, looks like we have the milking chamber right there. Uh, another light switch. Come on. There we go, there's a door opening. Here is, of course, your milking chamber thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, another light switch, so let's turn the lights on, if I can. Are they turned on? Let's see, no. There we go, there they are. Okay, it's pretty big, actually. Here's an exit to go outside. Yeah, see, look how big this area is right here. Wow. This thing is big. You definitely have to need a lot of room. Okay, we got a slurry over here. Uh, let's see, where do you bring in your cows or anything like that? Uh, what is this for? Oh, no, more lights. So you can definitely light this thing up. Okay, maybe this is where you bring your cows in. Let's see. Nope. This may be where you feed them or either that or your straw. Uh, nothing right there. Here is for your manure. It's a manure pit right there. Uh, what about right there? No, nothing. Uh, looks like there's another trigger over here. What is this for? This might be for your water. Oh, this thing is pretty big. Okay, what about right here? Ah, there we go. So now we got some cows running around in it. So pretty nice little thing right here. Yeah, see, you're going to need a lot of room for it. Okay. Where you can find this, let's go over here, let's go to Animal Pens, and at the very end, there it is. It is $350,000. See it? Look how big of an area that is. It's pretty big. You're going to need a pretty big flat area to usually get it. 
Okay, so that is the placeables for today. Let's go down here and let's take a look at the regular mods. Oh, also, we did also get a new Geo today. That was the Seasons Geo USA Eastern. So if you guys want to try that out, uh, go ahead. That, that is out in Mimics, of course, you know, the eastern region of the United States. Uh, also, we did get an update to the Christmas tree from yesterday. It is fixed now. So make sure you guys do update that. Uh, Christmas tree, yes. Okay, first one over here, we have the Crimpy Bandit 750. 32 slots, uh, $52,000, and go all the way up to 40,200 liters, which is this big one right here, which is 40,000. Uh, different options on these, as you guys can see, there's three right here. There's the, uh, of course, the regular one, and then there's the one with the cover. I love this cover. And then that's one. Where you can find this, let's go over here. Let's go under trailers. And at the very end, right over here, there it is right there. Can pretty much handle anything, uh, any kind of crop, lime. Uh, let's see, you got main colors, you have crimpy red. Uh, green, black, and bright green. You have configuration 26,650, uh, 35,650, 40,200, 27,200. So there is that. So you have Trailborg or Michelin. Trailborg, you have twin radials. Uh, go back to Trailborg. There we go. Uh, then you have twin uh, T404s, T404 800s, and then back to twin radial. Uh, trail, I mean, Michelin, you have cargo X bib. Uh, 800s, uh, Mega XBib, and then back to the regular. And you design standard or underride a guard, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that is the crimpy guys. Really nice. Okay, next one we have this is the Lizard RKM manure spreader. Five slots, 25,000. It can hold 14,000 liters of manure. Uh, pretty nice little thing. I like how it looks like this old kind of uh, manure spreader. This is kind of the machinery I kind of wanted, you know, like the old kind of stuff. Okay, where you can find this, let's go over here. Let's go to manure spreaders. And then there it is right there. It does require 144 horsepower, uh, 9.0 working meters. So it's a lot less than all these other ones. Well, pretty much the same as the Superflex effects, but that's it. Uh, let's see, um, main colors. You have, of course, your reds, blues, greens, browns, whites, grays. Uh, rim color is the same thing. You even have yellows. And then wheel setup, you have either standard uh, T16s, uh, P16s, P16s, uh, and then narrow tires. So narrow tires are definitely going to be helpful when you're on that field, you know, that has uh, crops on it. Okay, so there is that one. Last thing we have for today is a new tractor. We've been keep getting these New Holland tractors. This one, of course, is the New Holland T6. 39 slots, $82,000. This is a medium tractor, guys, medium tractor. A uh, pretty nice little medium tractor too. Uh, so let's go inside. Here is the inside right here. Let's pull up uh, the help menu to make sure we don't miss anything on the controls. There we go. Okay, nothing right there. Horn, that's it. And then, okay, we do have some extra stuff on here. So let's um, do this one. There's the door and that is holding L1, R1, and using the left, uh, the right stick, sorry, the right stick, uh, left and right. Okay, now then, of course, uh, we got a little bit of sunroof thing right there. See if that does anything. Oh, no, that opens the back window. So the L1 and R1 and up on the directional pad opens the back window, up and down. Okay, so there's that. Let's turn it on. Ooh, nice little engine sound right there. Turn signals. Lights. I got that engine sounds. Go up to 32 miles an hour. Looks like everything works in here. Steering wheel, pedals. Really nice. I just wish you can open up that uh, top right there. Okay, let's turn this off. Okay, so you can see we got two different versions. We have the regular one, and this one right here is actually a 50th anniversary one, which has the UK flag thing right there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, where you can find this, let's go over here. Let's go over to medium tractors, and then go to the very end. Uh, its base is 120 horsepower. Uh, let's see, you can change the rim color either from white, gray, or black. 
design color from black uh, to blue power or the 50th anniversary edition. And then you have main color, you have either standard, blue power, Fiatagari, uh, black or 50th anniversary. 50th puts that little B, you know, blue, uh, yeah, that blue color. <laughs> Configurations, you have standard, you have 400 kilogram, 600, 800, uh, 1,200, and then to front attacher. And then we have uh, wheel brands, Trailborg, McKeon, or Michelin, or Midas. In Trailborg, you have either standard, reversed front tread, which is d definitely different. Uh, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires, narrow tires, rear twin narrows, uh, rear twin wheels, rear twin wide, uh, twin wheels, and back to standard. And that's under Trailborg. McKeon, just standard. Michelin, uh, I think it's the same. Oh, you got wide tires one, two, rear twins. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. A uh, design, you have either standard or blue power, which it puts it on the top, uh, blue power. And then you have the 50th, which adds, of course, you know, the flag and the 50th anniversary. Well, actually, no, there's no uh, flag on there. Huh. Oh, standard plus UK flag. Okay, that one uh, puts the UK flag on there. Blue power plus the UK flag, and then the 50th one plus the UK flag. Uh, you have no beacon light, left side beacon light, right side beacon light, dual beacon lights. Uh, engine setup, you have the 120, which is 120 horsepower. You have the 140, which of course is the 140. Uh, 150, 150, uh, 155, which is 150. Uh, 160, which is 160. Uh, same thing with that one and go all the way up to 175 horsepower. You can also put a front loader on this. I really like the ones you definitely put a front loader on. Okay, so that is the mods for today, guys. Let me know which one was you guys' favorite. We, of course, had the Crimpy Bandit. Uh, we had the Lizard RKM Manure Spreader, the Dairy Barn, the Garage, the Grain Storage, Small Shelters, and the New Holland T639. And, of course, remember, we also got a uh, new Geo today, which was the Seasons Geo USA Eastern. Then we also got two updates, I believe, today, which was the Christmas pack. And then we also got an update to the JCB435S Stage 4 and 5 wheel order we just got earlier this week. Uh, of course, uh, we have one more day of pretty much of mods, I think, pretty much for the year, uh, which is tomorrow. And we should also get the, uh, get the, uh... Agritechnica stuff. Sorry, I can't think there for a second. <laughs> Remember, tonight I will be live streaming at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time with Mr. Smokey. We'll be back on Lone Oak with Seasons. Uh, if you guys haven't already done it, make sure you guys spend the comment section below hashtag FS Consoles. Like always, guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you had not sudden, make sure you guys do. And like always, have an all-stay farmers. Peace. Yeah.